and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Nikisha, and around here I give moms tips and tools to make more money from home. And today I want to get into the story about when I had my first thousand dollar month blogging. So I was sitting here filming and doing some work and all that good stuff and I just saw something that triggered a memory for me. And so I thought I would jump on camera and share it with you guys. I hope that it truly helps somebody um, because I know that this thing really really helped me to get to where I am today in my business so I want to talk about when I had my first thousand dollar month blogging now the first thing I want to say about this is in order to make money with your blog um, in any way you need to be on a self hosted blog that means that you need to have a blog that's set up on wordpress.org I'm not sure why but I originally started my blog off on wordpress.org so I never had any problems um, moving it over or anything like that I started my hosting with Bluehost because it was cheap <laughs> Okay, it was just a few dollars a month and I started my blog. I, like I said, I didn't even know you could monetize when I started it, but for some reason or some way I knew that I needed a self-hosted blog. I don't even know how, but if you have yet to start your blog and you are looking to start it or if you are on something other than a self-hosted blog, please go and get yourself a self-hosted blog on WordPress. That's what I work recommend wordpress.org set it up get your hosting something cheap there are several sites out there i recommend bluehost because for one they are cheap they are reliable honey and customer service is off the chain okay there's so many times i've had to chat in because i broke something on my site trying to put up plugins or do this and make stuff look cute messed it up whatever i could call them or chat in with them and they would help me fix it so we got that out of the way let's get into the story so this was in 2018 when I was just about a year in to my blog. Um, obviously I had my blog before that but I knew nothing about being able to monetize it or anything like that. I was really just writing for the fun of it or just because I wanted to get those thoughts out. But anyway in 2018 I realized that girl you can monetize this blog so you need to get going. So pretty much it was at the start of 2018 when I decided okay well I'm gonna start trying to monetize this blog right um so I just wanted to give you that for some context I was fairly new I had just started um trying to figure out the ways to monetize my blog so I went to this blogging conference and I met so many amazing women there that Oh my God, I just learned so much from. And one of the girls just, we sat down and we were talking during lunch and she was just like going on and on about how much she makes and all this good stuff. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, girl, I'm not even monetizing like that, you know? And she was just like, girl, you need to be putting yourself out there, you know, and pitching brands and, you know, just putting yourself in front of brands in order to get pitched to and all this stuff, right? And so I'm like, okay, you know, cool, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out um, I can learn and all this good stuff so I just wanted to give you some backstory right okay so anyway I was like okay time for me to do this I'm ready to monetize and I think I started um, trying to monetize the first month obviously um, it just didn't really work out for me and then the second month I applied to this network to where you they have um, brand campaigns there and you can apply to them and get chosen and then you do it that way now the pay is not as much when you're doing it through the networks but hey when you were making nothing something is better than nothing okay so I started to apply through these networks and I started getting chosen for opportunities so I would make $200 here and $300 there and you know just money that would come trickling in depending on the campaigns that I would get chosen for so I was just like maybe like three or four months into doing that and I was like okay I know that I can do so much better than this. I know how dope I am. I might not have the largest platform, but I know that I really can create good work. I want to make a thousand dollars in one month, right? So for me, that was my very first goal. If you have been around here, you know that I love to set me a good old goal and work toward it until I reach it. So I was like, I'm going to make a thousand dollars in a month. That's it. That's it. That's it. Period. 
That's all that's it. I'm, I'm gonna make this thousand dollars in a month. So one day I was just minding my own business and I got an email from this brand saying that um, they had been following me and they just love my content and my platform and all this stuff and that they were looking for people to kind of start an influencer program around their business and asking me what my rates were. Y'all, let me tell you, I was a little shocked because this was a very reputable brand, um, local here in my area. So it was a local business that was reaching out to me. I was really shocked because this was one of the first times that I had gotten pitched um, from a brand. Now, obviously I'd gotten emails before, but they want to be on the play play and give you products or, you know, want you to do stuff for free. But this was like one of the first opportunities that I actually got pitched from the brand. Now hold on. I actually got the emails pulled up right here and I want to give you a breakdown of how this timeline went, right? So they emailed me on June 27th of 2018 um, saying that they were looking for people to be a part of their influencer program and they wanted, they were considering me and they wanted to know what my rates were. So on June 28th, I responded with my rates. Now when I got this email, I was thinking to myself, okay, so they already have watched me. They already know my platform. So that means that they're interested in me. I'm going to pitch a video to them because I love to do video and I know that with video you can make a lot more, right? And so I was like, I'm going to pitch a video to them and I'm going to go for what I feel like I'm worth, right? So I went to craft my response like, yes, honey, this is what I can do, da, 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 da. And it's going to be, uh, mm, mind you, I knew nothing about pricing or anything. I just pulled a number out my tail. Okay, I just pulled a number out of my tail and I was like, okay, it will be $750, right? This was my response to them. So I sent the email back and crickets. <laughs> nothing no response nothing like and so me being how I was at the time and not quite fully confident and all that good stuff I'm just like oh my gosh why would I say $750 who's gonna pay me $750 to do something like I got so discouraged like I, for real I got so discouraged and I just let it go so that was June 28th, right? A few months later, we're talking all the way in October. October, by this time, I'm really, really, really in the groove of making money through the networks, right? I'm making consistent, you know, three, four, five, six hundred dollars a month, but I still have not reached that thousand dollar month that I wanted to reach. Now in September, I had gotten as cl closest I ever got to the thousand dollar goal, right? I think that month I hit like $700 or something like that. Obviously still a couple hundred dollars shy of it, but I was just like, I'm getting closer. So things started to pick up and I was slowly making more, right? So October came around. Obviously, when I look back at what I was doing, obviously when October rolled in, I was like, listen, no, it, it, it's going down this month. I am just done. I'm done. I got to make this thousand dollars. So I was talking on the phone to um, one of my blogging friends and just telling her like, listen, I'm really ready to level up and I just, I gotta hit this goal this month. I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but I gotta come up with something. We gotta come up with a strategy, right? And so we were just talking and she was just like, um, yeah, so have you done this? Are you doing this? And a lot of the things she was saying, I really just was not ready for, you know, I wasn't ready to do. But she mentioned, she was like, have you spoken to all of the companies that you've worked with before? You know, um, have you like reached back out to them to see if they want to do some extra work or anything like that? And I was like, oh, no, I don't really have anybody I work or whatever. So we got off the phone. So when I hung up the phone with her, right, I went to look through my emails just to see who I had worked with, who I had been talking to that maybe would want to do some more work with me or whatever. But remember, at this point, I hadn't done very many um, projects outside of networks. So I was like, I don't have anybody. But I'm scrolling through the emails, right? And I come up on this email. So I am open the email I'm like oh my gosh like these people just never even thought to respond back but mind you at this point 
I done got off the phone with my friend and my confidence on 10, okay? Confidence on 10. So I was like, you know what? I'm about to reach out. I'm about to reach back out to this person and see if they're still doing this influencer um, program she was talking about and if they're still interested in moving forward, you know? So I emailed her. My, this is October 3rd of 2018. So on October 3rd, I sent her an email and it says, it's been a while. It was great to hear that you're looking to expand your influencer program. I'm touching base with you to see how it's coming. My favorite time of the year is here and I love to celebrate it with you all. I'm looking forward to it. That was literally the email that I sent to them. That basic, that cut and dry, right? <laughs> oh my god. So I sent the email at 10:46 in the morning. L at 11:46, she emails me back and like, "Oh, thanks for following up. Yes, absolutely. We're still looking for people and we would love to work with you." 1 hour later. 1 hour later she emails me back right and so I email her back that same day and we're going back and forth and she's basically like okay what you want to do how you want to do it we're going back and forth the same day you guys that I found the confidence to reach out she emails me back literally the by the next day October 4th we had come up with an agreement on what type of content I was going to do, what they were going, the product that they were going to give me in addition to that payment amount of $750 that I had pitched them back in June. In addition to that, by the next day, October 4th, we had come up with the entire agreement of what we, go we were going to do. Then, this is where it gets crazy. And this is why I wanted to tell you this. By the end of the day, on the following day, they were PayPaling me my production costs. They were PayPaling me my $200 production costs that I requested by the next day of me sending that follow-up email. I did the campaign, everything was executed, and by the end of that month, I was getting the remainder of my payment, the $550 for the full campaign. Obviously, along the in that month, I reached another $250 from a campaign um, post that I did. I actually did a couple. I think I want to say I did two that month, plus the $750 that I had made from that program simply by reaching back out to somebody who pitched me way months earlier. Right. So I wanted to tell that story because I really, really honestly think that having the confidence in yourself to just step out on faith and do things that you probably d didn't think you could do or reach out and just taking a chance. Sometimes it will pay off for you. Right. So I learned that day that one, I was underpricing myself because, honey, they said yes absolutely way too quickly I'm just like yeah okay we'll give you 750 so I knew I was underpricing myself it's not 750 today just want to let you know that but I was like I undersold myself I probably could have gotten 1750 you know what I'm saying but I didn't know I was naive but it took that experience to truly get me the confidence to as to where I am today and be able to ask for what I asked for today. So I wanted to make this video so that you can have the confidence in yourself that you can ask for what you want, right? When you set a goal that you really can meet that goal as long as you're willing to go for it. You know, sometimes we're all super timid and we're like, eh, and I'm gonna do this and people are not gonna buy this and whatever. No, you have to get out here in this space and do it with confidence and be bold and learn to follow up with people people are busy okay we all got a lot going on people are busy however the person that makes the most noise is the person that get heard i tell you guys that all the time 
that you gotta get out here and do the most, right? You gotta get out here and do the most and it's the same thing with that, with working with brands and making your money via brands and stuff. You have to follow up with them, uh, follow up with them again, let them know that you're here, follow them on social, talk to them on social and all that good stuff. But I wanted you to know that it's possible, okay? It is possible. I did that at a year in, right? I did that at a year in the game, not really knowing what I was doing, but simply just putting myself out there, throwing a number out that at the time felt really big to me, but I did it, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm just going to ask for it. What, what they going to say, yes or no? And if they say no, that ain't that going to happen. I'm going to survive it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to share that story because I get a lot of you that seem to be lacking confidence in yourself that you even can do this, right? Um, some of you that have already started the blog, which is amazing, but some of you haven't even started, but you want to and you're sitting back just watching other people do it and you don't even have the confidence to start. I'm going to need you to start. If I can just throw a number out there that felt so big to me at the time and get it, then you can simply start now if you have started and you where are where I was at the time and just you're not monetizing like that you can now you don't have to start with doing brand partnerships I'm um, like I did I just happened to feel confident and comfortable doing that at the time but you can start with selling your own products you can start with affiliate marketing however you want to start now y'all know my recommendation is to start with affiliate marketing just because I feel like it's easy and it helps you to learn how to position yourself and sell and all that good stuff I have a video talking all about it you can check it out right here um, and learn a little bit more about affiliate marketing when I say that but if if you have started that is amazing you're amazing keep going okay but if you have not monetized it yet get up your confidence find the guts to just get out here and do it right because you want to make money and I know it seems tough but you can do it. So I wanted to share this video just to tell you that you don't have to be ready you don't have to even be confident really but you gotta just do it in spite of any feelings that you're having if you feel scared if you feel intimidated if you feel like you're not worth the amount do it anyway learning to push through the feelings has been one of the biggest ways that I have gotten out here and been successful in this thing that I want to do. Pushing through feeling like nobody sees me. Pushing through feeling like I'm not worth $7.50 pushing through you know not thinking anybody's gonna listen you gotta learn to push through those feelings and when you learn to push through those feelings you will come out on the other side of it much more confident and just what you know what I'm saying you will have the feelings and the tools and all that good stuff to be able to continue to push through and eventually find the success that you're looking for so yeah get out here and make your money girl a thousand dollars two thousand dollars make that money girl just don't let it make you <laughs> so if you like this video like it subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video bye